Good morning. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernitor morning headlines on May 18, 2022. Who owns Einstein? The battle for the world's most famous face. Ukraine farming group calls for urgent end to ports blockade. The Guardian, G7 warns Russia-Ukraine war is stoking global food crisis. NBC News, US and allies struggle to come up with plans to get vital grain supplies out of Ukraine. Don't accidentally hire a North Korean hacker, FBI warns. The Guardian, US officials warn against inadvertently hiring rogue freelancers from North Korea. The Independent, US, warns against inadvertently hiring North Korean IT workers. Reuters, North Korea dispatches IT workers to raise funds for nuclear program, US says. Clashes in Tripoli as would-be Prime Minister attempts to claim power. The Guardian, clashes erupt in Libya after rival PM's attempt to seize capital fails. Financial Times, clashes force Bashar from Libya's Tripoli. Reuters, clashes break out in Tripoli, drive rival Libyan PM away. The Associated Press, Libya's Bashar arrives in Tripoli al Arabiya. Primary election results, Liv, polls close in Pennsylvania as Dr. Oz breaks with Trump. The Independent, Republican Bard wins North Carolina Senate nomination, Cawthorn in trouble. Reuters, Trump-backed Ted Budd beats former Governor McCrory in North Carolina Senate primary. Elizabeth Bourne, France's new PM faces immediate pressure to act on climate. The Guardian, PM's feminine title stokes war over French language. The Times, Emmanuel Macron appoints Elizabeth Bourne as France's first female prime minister in 30 years. The Telegraph, Elizabeth Bourne, a long-serving technocrat and woman of the left. The Guardian, Elizabeth Bourne, France's first female prime minister for 30 years seeks unity. Ukraine News, Liv, Putin warns of irreversible damage if Europe bans Russian oil. The Independent, will Ukraine host Eurovision 2023? TV boss says EBU consultations will start on Friday. Wiwi blogs, Ukraine's Kalush Orchestra to auction off Eurovision 2022 trophy. Eurovision World, Ukrainian soldier defiantly sings in bunker. Now this news, Piers Morgan slams Eurovision as a rigged farce after Ukraine's predictable landslide. Out of this world revelations in short supply at US Congress briefing on UFOs. The Guardian, UFOs spotted 400 times by US military, Pentagon reveals. The Telegraph, UFO sightings are frequent and continuing, and some cannot be explained, Navy admits. The Independent, Opinion, Congress UFO hearing tries to dispel disinformation. Good luck. Isle of Man medical director faced disgraceful, bullying, tribunal fines. Kim Jong-un calls North Korea's response to COVID outbreak inadequate. The Guardian, N. Korea reports another jump in suspected COVID-19 cases. The Independent, North Korea mobilizes army, steps up tracing amid COVID wave. The Irish Times, North Korea on brink of COVID-19 catastrophe, say experts. The Guardian, N. Korea's Kim faces huge dilemma on aid as virus surges. China Eastern Airlines crash likely to be result of deliberate nosedive, report says. Sky News, China air crash that killed 132 may have been deliberate, says US report. The Guardian, Chinese airliner brought down from cockpit, world. The Times, China plane crash may have been intentional, black box shows. The Telegraph, intentional nosedive caused China Eastern crash that killed 132, US findings suggest. Pollution responsible for one in six deaths across planet, scientists warn. The Guardian, pollution still killing millions and accounts for one in six deaths worldwide, study finds. Sky News, pollution caused one in six deaths worldwide in 2019, report finds. The Independent, pollution killing 9 million people a year, Africa hardest hit, study. Finland and Sweden, optimistic, Turkey will agree NATO application bid. The Independent, Turkey threatens to block Finland and Sweden NATO bids. BBC, Ukraine war, Sweden strengthens military muscle in face of Russian aggression. Sky News, Finland and Sweden may join NATO, but even they can't guarantee that will make them safer. The Guardian, Erdogan's NATO brinkmanship smacks of desperation. 
Mariupol, Ukraine doing everything to save remaining fighters. BBC, questions over future of evacuated Azov still fighters, as it happened. The Guardian, Mariupol on verge of falling as fighters leave steel plant. Runcorn and Witness World, Factbox, last defenders of Mariupol, what is Ukraine's Azov regiment? Reuters, Mariupol falls to Russian forces as defending troops evacuated, BBC News. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.